Hello everybody, welcome back. Eric here and today we're going to do part two of the battle between the latest Kindle Oasis. This one came out in 2020, but this is the one you can still buy. And the 2021 Paperwhite that just came out three weeks ago. So we did this, I did this test uh, when I first got the paper white and we, we battled it out here. And um, at the end of that, I kind of thought that the paper white was the best deal for the money. But the Kindle Oasis has always been the king of the Kindles. But does it still keep its throne? What do I think of using them, of after using them side by side? So for two weeks, I read 30 minutes on this one, 30 minutes on this one, back and forth. Uh, which one did I pick up more? And do I still think that the Paperwhite is the better deal? Or for the extra money, should you get the Oasis? Stay tuned to find out. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And all the links to all the Kindles are in the description below. So check those out. I'm on Amazon.com right now looking at the new Paper white 8 gigabyte model should be enough for most people. Uh, if you have a lot of audiobooks though, then I would consider going with the 32 gig. Also, this is the ad supported one. Uh, I don't mind the ads, you just swipe away and um, they disappear. It's not a big deal. Once in a while, they recommend something good, but um, so this is 140 bucks. Uh, but for 50 bucks more, you can go with the paper white. Um, this is 32 gig storage, wireless charging option, plus it has the auto light, which will adjust the screen automatically. Um, I don't think it's a huge deal, but I do think the wireless charging and the 32 gig storage is pretty nice. I'm on Amazon.com right now looking at the 8 gigabyte Kindle Paperwhite. 8 gigabyte should be enough for most people. Uh, especially if you don't have many audiobooks. Um, otherwise, this one also has the ads. The ads aren't a big deal. You just swipe them away. Um, for 50 bucks more, though, you can get the Signature Edition, which is four times the storage, 32 gigabyte, plus wireless charging, which is pretty cool. And it has the auto dimming light. So both of them have the new amber light or the amber light that was on the Oasis. That's now on both of these, but this one has that auto feature where it adjusts the light around you. Uh, price right here, 140. Um, both of these should be going on sale. Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Keep an eye out for that. And now looking at the eight gigabyte Oasis for 249.99. Um, this is again, is this is the top of the line one. Not supposed to get any better than the Oasis. Um, this is, uh, you can pay more if you look down here for more storage and you can also get it without ads too. Uh, I've had the eight gigabyte one for a year and I'm not even close to filling it up, but yeah, keep an eye out because I imagine this price is going to drop. There's no guarantee, no certainties, but I got mine for uh, 190 last year. So I will link those all below and keep an eye on that because I'm going to make a video as soon as those prices drop so that you know when to buy. As I mentioned, I went back and forth with the new Paperwhite and the Oasis. 30 minutes on one, reading 30 minutes on this one. 30 minutes back and forth several times and I found out some interesting differences between the two. Let's talk about some differences. I have the Paperwhite 2021 on my left, latest Oasis on my right. Now, the Paperwhite is a 6.8 inch screen, which is up 0.8 inches from the previous generation. And this one's 7 inches, 6.87. I know, I'm not sure why they gave this one 0.2, um, you know, why this one is 0.2 more, probably just to say, because it's, uh, you know, a lot more money. But literally, I measured them with, with my handy little tape measure, and the Oasis is 1 16th of an inch wider and one sixteenth of an inch taller. That's it. Otherwise, the screens are identical. Both also have the 300 PPI screen, so they're very clear. The Kindle Basic, the, uh, in the entry level one that I I'm not showing here, only has 167, but these have 300 PPI and they should look exactly the same. That black and white does look good. It's like reading a book. And now on to the Oasis, both very clear. And one more difference between these two is that 
the Paperwhite only has 17 LEDs, um, but the Oasis is 25. So this one should be brighter. I don't necessarily need it to be brighter. Um, I rarely read it with the brightness turned all the way up. Let me know if you need it mega bright. Now, all those specs on a piece of paper are fine and dandy, but where these ones really separate is their form factor. Let's start with the Oasis. Uh, you can see it has this nice big handle. Uh, you can grab onto it when you're reading. It gives your, gives your uh, palm of, of your hand a nice uh, place to put your uh, bat, and you can turn the buttons with, the, with your thumb. It's kind of hard for me to hold it. Look at the camera. But I can really keep my thumb in one spot and just go up and down down a page, up a page, and it's really nice. So, and you can see it's thicker here, it's lighter here, so it feels very light, very airy. It's got the metal back, and uh, it feels really good in the hand. It, it, it feels light, and um, the buttons are so nice, and this wider margin to hold it also uh, makes it easier. The paper wide, on the other hand, has thinner bezels now. Uh, let's look at the older one. Reach over and grab it. This is the previous Gen 1. You see now you, you have a lot thinner bezels. Uh, six inch screen, 6.8 inch screen. So I do like the thinner bezels. It, it looks good, plus it's flush. There's no gap here and it's smooth, it's nice. You, you can hold it here, you gotta put your finger on, on there too and you got to hold it. Um, I like to read in bed if you watch my, my videos I'm always saying that I like to hold it up at, at night and um, It works out well, but you do have to watch your thumb and make sure that it's not touching the edge of um, The device or else you'll change the page but very different form factor and this is what I like talking about I like talking about like what the experience is with it because Anyone can read numbers, you know, we can all look at the specs, but, but what's it like to use these two? And uh, today we're we are answering, again, which is, which is the Kindle King here? Let's talk a little bit more about the reading experience between these two. Now, I read probably in an unconventional way. Um, if this was a paper book, I'd be using my finger and I'd be underlining these sentences and I'd be following my finger and following along and reading that. As fast as my finger goes, that's what I'd be reading. This is a technique in a uh, speed reading book that I've been going through for several years now. I go through it sometimes and I take a break. Uh, I'll link it in the description below, but my reading has increased so much by this. But the cool thing is, is that your comprehension goes up as well. So I figured out, because you don't want to use your finger on the Kindle to do that. And let me know if you do this. I don't want to feel <laughs> like I'm the only weird one here. But if you use your finger, you're going to eventually touch the page and that's going to uh, turn the page, of course. But I figured, if I use the plastic pencil and make sure that the lead was inside, then I can just follow the pencil and read. I read about this speed or so. But anyway, but the problem is, and I go to turn the page and I have to touch the page. So I'm reading, 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 and then I touch the page, read, 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 touch the page. It's not a big deal, but um, it's so much faster on the Oasis. Here you have the buttons, page up, page down. I have this nice handle and I can read, 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 just hit the button. And I don't read that fast, but you get what I'm saying. Just hit the button and you're changing pages. So overall, for me, the Oasis is a much better reading experience. But let me know your thoughts. For the most part, I'm going to say for my type of reading, which I've uh, been experiencing as I've gone back and forth, you know, reading with this one, reading with the paper white these last three weeks, is this one is easier for me to read on the Oasis 2020 version, which is the latest one, because I love this handle, uh, I love the buttons, and it's and it's just easier for the type of uh, reading that I do. If you think by this point that I'm partial to the Oasis, you would be right, but it does have one pretty big flaw. And that flaw comes in the form of battery life. Now, right now, I'm sitting at 11% on the Oasis. 
and 79% on the Paperwhite. Now, I charged these both to 100% uh, a while back, and I read on them, like I said, back and forth, back and forth. I probably read a couple more hours, maybe another hour or two, just because I prefer reading on the Oasis. So maybe you can add, what, like 10, 15 more percent? I mean, even if we were generous and said, okay, 30%, you know, that if I read a few more hours on the Oasis, 30%. But the paper white is still 79%. I mean, what a huge difference. So as much as I like reading on the Oasis, that's a pretty big chink in its armor for this kind of poor battery life. I know we've, we've talked about it before. You guys have commented. So the uh, paper white, a big plus for that uh, with this excellent battery life. Overall, after a couple weeks of using these back and forth, I still found myself using the Oasis more. I just like it. I like the buttons. I know from the comments I hear from you guys, you guys love the buttons too. For those of you that have had it or the, the Kindle Voyage has got the buttons too and some of the older ones, buttons are so nice. But the battery life on the Paperwhite with the pretty much the same screen, with this battery life, it's really good too. So it does it justify the price over $100 for the Oasis or save yourself a lot of money, uh, forego the buttons, but still get a really good Kindle with a really long battery life. So let me know which one you would pick. Uh, I don't know if I can still call the Oasis the king. Is the king of form and function. It's the king of usability, but uh, the paper wise, the king of the battery life. So let me know what's most important to you. Make a comment below, ask a question. I promise I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, all the links for the Kindles are in the description below. So check out that area and it'll take you right to Amazon. Please like, please subscribe. Uh, thanks so much for watching.